All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Boss Money from Chirac News, and I am finally back. Uh, feels good to say that. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this video not too long. I don't want to go too off topic, but uh, just first off, man, I want to start by saying shout out to all my subscribers and supporters, man. Uh, st stuck with me. Continue to watch my channel. Help me grow, man. Um, I have over 17,000 subscribers now, man. I never thought it would get this big so quick. And uh, I was away for like seven or eight months, man. You guys kept supporting, um, kept showing me love, commenting, and just watching my videos, man. And uh, all the comments I've gotten, people hit me up these past two months or past month when I've been back. Just showing love, man. It means a lot. It really does. So shout out to y'all, man, my subscribers. I love y'all. And uh, I'm going to really bust my ass these next two weeks to uh, get a lot of content, a lot of content out for you guys and uh, just catch up on everything that's been going on. But uh, we're not going to talk too much about my personal situation. I'm going to save that for a different video right now. I basically want to uh, do a little recap on what's going on the past six months. And then um, I want to show you guys uh, where Dooski uh, got shot and killed. And just talk about that situation a little bit. But uh, yeah, man, so let's get right into this. All right, so when I basically went away, uh, it was late July. It was right after uh, Can't Get Right. Can't Get Right got killed early June, I believe, and, uh, when I came home, man, uh, it was late January, I, I really honestly had thought that the, uh, GDs, like, STL, Jar on them, I thought they would have been up, they would have scored and got back for, uh, for at least get right, or just, uh, let's bring this back to, um, summer 2016, we're gonna say, that is when Chino got killed, Chino from O Block, um, Poppy and TB, and again, man, you guys know I'm not gonna name drop unless the dudes are dead. I'm gonna still do that. Um, I'm gonna stick to my word, but uh, cause I know I'm gonna get the whole snitching shit, which uh, I don't even want to get into that, man. If y'all know what I've been through, um, these past few months, um, you you guys would understand, man. I hate cops more than anybody you know. Uh, my house got raided, man. I took a huge L, and just long story short, man, I fucking hate pigs. I hate snitches. And I, and I just, I don't consider that snitching, regardless, um, none of this shit's gonna get nobody indicted, uh, you guys are stupid if you really, anyone who thinks that just, that just that cops are gonna use any online information to get somebody indicted, just, you don't know the law, man, um, if, if they don't got an eyewitness or forensic evidence, there's no case, just point blank period, so, that's one thing that Chicago, like, dudes, they, they, they follow that no snitching code, like, I don't know, that that's why no murders get solved, because people do not snitch, no one wants to speak up, and that's their thing, man, um, you, like I said, you need a eyewitness or forensic evidence, and you can't go by hearsay, you, you can't go by what you know on the internet, what you hear on the internet, that shit is not how it works, so, um, regardless of what I say, man, trust me, man, the cops know all this and more, um, they got they got investigators that sit on this shit all day. They know everything we know, so it ain't nothing new. But again, I don't want to go too much off topic. But um, so yeah, back uh summer 2016, Chino got killed from O Block, uh, Poppy and TB, and then a few months later, December, early December, Big A, uh, got killed, and uh, that was uh Get Right and uh, two other dudes, and as you guys know, that was Get Back for Ki. So the GDs. STL jar on them, they were on a little streak, and then, as you guys know, February, uh, early February 2017, uh, T-Roy goes out looking for uh, TB, I'm, I'm guessing to uh, get back for Chino, and as you guys know, that went sideways, and TB ended up getting him, um, so yeah, man, that was two huge scores for STL Jaro. Like, re really big losses for uh, O Block 600, man. Big A and uh, T Roy were both very well respected. Like, those are considered high high value targets, man. Just big hits. And uh, so, yeah, well, that's three in a row. Chino, Big A, T Roy, all in like a six month span. And uh, I might be missing, I don't know. I don't think the BDs got anyone in that time frame. Um, if they did, man, comment below. But I'm really going off the big names. Um, but if I miss anybody, let me know. But so then let's fa fast forward then to summer 2017. Um, that's when the BDs started getting back, man. First they, uh, first they got Poppy 
Um, obviously, get back for Chino. Then they got. Uh, then they got. Uh, who they get after that? They got Brick and Kobe in July, a month later. And uh, the dudes who got Poppy, obviously, all all of them are still alive. Uh, the streets know what's up with that. But uh, Brick and uh, Brick and uh, Kobe, you guys know that situation. Um, and then what happened? September two, another two months later. Uh, they got Freddio and TB. I don't know which one's first, but basically that was five in a row right there. Uh, uh Poppy, Kobe, Brick, Freddio, and TB. So the BDs just went on like a huge streak, man. And and another hit, O Block Six Hundred got sometime in 2017 was this dude MOB uh MOB Jamo or Jamo. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but the dude who got him, he's still alive. Uh, the streets know what's up with that. So yeah, that's that's another right there, man. But um, then you guys know what happened. Um, they got HK, which was obviously get back for Brick and TB. But you still had you still had a uh, no get back for Poppy. You had no get back for uh, no get back for Fredio. You had no get back for Kobe. And then. Basically, 2018 winter, nothing really happened, and then you got the uh, then you had the summer, summer 2018. Crump got hit, uh, Melly got hit, but I don't even count that in this war. But um, and then what happened? Then what happened? Oh yeah, and then Get Right got killed. So obviously that was get back for uh, that was get back for Big A, and, and they wanted Get Right's ass for a while, man. Get Right was a savage. I I believe he got shot. At least once before that, but they they wanted him for a while, man. So that that was definitely a big score for them. And uh, I'm not saying STL Jaro ain't been trying to get back and catch up. Um, I believe Duke, uh, O Block Duke, I think he got shot. I think uh, I think Muop actually got shot too. I'm sure, there's a shit ton of other fucking shots that have been fired that where people just haven't got hit, but. I don't know, man. Uh, o Block Six Hundred, man. They basically they 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 call them get back game for a reason, man. Because they have got back for all their losses. They got back for Chino, uh, Poppy, and TB are dead. They got back for Big A, um, and they got back for T Roy, man. So it's just I I, I don't know. Like at, at this point, man, I feel like HK is their only loss since uh summer two thousand seventeen. Like I, I don't know if I'm wrong. Comment below, but yeah, man. Um, so getting into this whole uh the Dooski thing, man. I was I've been doing I was doing my research when I got back, just trying to figure out why they would uh go after Dooski, and uh basically there's, there's four reasons, man. How how someone gets killed, like these gang members, man. Basically, there's one. Um, obviously, get back revenge, where they literally they go after looking for the person, go on a drill looking for him. Uh, two, uh, basically just two ops. They they run into each other in traffic somewhere. They 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 they're not like planning on killing each other that day, but it's I mean obviously it's it's either kill or be killed. I mean similar to I would say like the situation. Um, I feel like with like motor that just happened. I'm not I'm not sure if that's right, but I, that's what I think. I think uh it was just wrong place, wrong time. They ran into each other and it was kill or be killed. Uh, three a situation where. Uh, like the wrong target gets hit, say for like uh, what's the situation like that? Uh, uh, what's that name? Uh, Venzel Richardson, um, Big V. They say uh, the Taekwondo world dude. Uh, when that dude Los that day, uh, I'm pretty sure he was trying to shoot at TB. That was when TB was walking with uh Venzel, and uh, Venzel got killed, got hit by accident. Um, so that's another way you get killed, and then uh, what else? What else? Um, oh yeah, like the uh. The uh, T Roy T B situation where you go out looking for an op, and but they get you instead. So it's like four ways you can get killed, man. So I was trying to figure out uh, the Deucey situation, but the only reason, that, the only thing that really makes sense, man, is uh, they they went out looking for him because Deucey actually got killed literally right on uh, M O B's block, uh, like it was right on Fifty Six in Michigan, and uh, when I show you guys on the map where he got killed, like. 
it, 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 that's literally where MLB chose, man. If you look at uh, all their pictures, that that block right there at the corner of Fifty Six in Michigan, th- that's where they be posting up. Like that's literally their main hangout spot. So obviously the dudes who uh, who all went on that hit, um, they 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 went out that day looking for him and trying to figure out why. And uh, the only conclusion I came to, man, is. Listen, this dude, I'm not going to say his name, but he, he is the probably most wanted, the probably the biggest high-value target in Chicago right now, if not one of them. Um, you guys you, you guys know who I'm talking about if you follow this shit. He, he's like the one constant in a lot of these shootings and hits, man. But what I'm thinking, man, is uh, like Dusky was well-respected. Um, I, I don't know if he was a shooter, if he had any bodies, but... He was definitely well respected, and uh, I know like MLB six hundred. They weren't really. I don't even know if they were. The war was active with this time. I know MLB is really close with Jaro uh, STL, but like personally, the last dude from MLB who was it? Well, the MLB got Stello uh, in two thousand fifteen, and like I said, that MLB Jam Jamo dude died in two thousand seventeen. But like. Real personal between 600 and MLB kind of slowed down. I don't think they were actively going trying to kill each other. Um, but what I think, man, is... Actually, no, I think they were. They Like I said, they they really want this one dude. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm sure on several occasions they have tried to go at, gone after him. And uh, I'm sure he's been shot at numerous times. I don't know if Deucey shot at him personally. But that's what I think, man. I think... Uh, I think just they they probably try to shoot at him several times. It's like if you if you try to kill me, man, I'm. I mean, I'm. This is what I'm thinking ahead. It's like if you're trying to come kill me, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you before you kill me. So you, if you shoot at someone enough, man, they're gonna come back and try to get you. And that's what I think this happened, man. I think uh, I'm not saying Dusky personally, but I don't know. Maybe him little little his little shorties and. Uh, the dude who uh, supposedly killed Dusky just said, "Fuck it, man. We're gonna, I'm gonna go take him out before they get me." So it just, it's the only thing that makes sense because, like I said, Dusky got killed right on his block. So they obviously went out looking for him that day. And uh, and then, as you guys know, this was uh, Dusky got hit October 9th, and it was like literally it was midday, 4 p.m. So. Um, and then as you guys know, the next day Waldo got hit, but I don't want to talk too much about Waldo cause I'm gonna do a separate video on him, but, uh, yeah, man, the street's just saying, uh, I mean, I'll say Waldo cause he, he did pass away, he's dead, but I, supposedly he was with this dude on that Dooski hit. Um, but I can't confirm that, man. I'm just, I'm kind of speculating, but the streets know what's up, man. So I'm gonna pull up this map. I just, I wanted to do the backstory just to catch up, uh, and get everything, uh, go over everything with you guys, get back caught up, but, uh, yeah, I had to do my research a little, so, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back, man, I'm gonna keep doing these, uh, Death Side videos, I'm just get all caught up, like I said, I wanna do Waldo next, and then I'll show you guys the, uh, I'll show you the, uh, motor, uh, spot, talk a little bit about that, and then obviously, you know, I gotta talk about probably the biggest, uh, the biggest shooting of 2018, Made the most headlines, which was, I still can't even believe, man, when I seen that shit, and I, it just, y'all know, the funeral shooting, the whole Wooski situation, which I'm pissed I missed all that, man, I'm sure you guys know everything, you guys heard a million different stories, all the rumors and bullshit, but I'll give you my two cents about that in my video, so definitely stay tuned for uh, that, because that's going to be a big one, but uh, yeah, I'm going to pull up this map for you guys, and I'm, uh, I'm going to show you this uh, Dooski location. Alright, so I got this new updated map for you guys. Um, as you see, I added a, uh, I added a bunch of these sets in here so you can see where they're located. But uh, we're going to go right down to MLB, man. And I just want to tell you, all three of these recent murders, Motor, uh, Dusky, and Waldo, literally all happened in this little rectangle right here, man. I don't know, maybe a two, three mile radius, not even. But this is Washington Park right here. Washington Park, Woodlawn, and then basically Kenwood Grand Boulevard, man. This is like the main wars going on right here. See, 051 THF. But we'll go over all that in uh, some other videos. So let's just go down to MLB. 
And uh, apparently, man, they used to chill. They say that movie used to chill on 59th and Wabash, which would have been literally right there. But uh, apparently, they, they they moved down a little bit towards uh, 56th and 57th. And uh, there's this new set that I just started hearing of Geo Drive. They're basically clicked up with MLB and 051, like super tight, man. Um, it basically Geo Drive, MLB, same thing. But if you look at either of these dudes' pictures on Instagram, um, you'll see, man, this main block I'm about to show you is where they really be chilling at. But uh, yeah, so it would be right here, 56 in Michigan. And this is the alleyway I think Scrap got killed in. Uh, but like I was telling you, man, there's, there's two dudes from 600 that MLB really, really want. Uh, one of them they tried to get, and they ended up killing that Nico dude. Um, and the other one, y'all know who I'm talking about. But like I said, the war slowed down these past this past like year, two years. Uh, I'm sure they were still shooting at each other a lot, but um, yeah, man, it wasn't as intense as like STL Jaro's 600 old block, but. Something must have happened, man, for him to go after Dooski. Um, I, honestly, I didn't even really know he was a rapper until uh, he dropped that song with uh, Wooski. And I checked his shit out. He wasn't like he wasn't hella disrespectful, but yeah, man, he was honestly he was he was decent too on the mic. But this is their main block right here. I'm telling you, look at any of their pictures. There's actually a video on Dooski uh, page where like they light off firecrackers. That's right here. Uh, he got hella pictures and shit all around this block, man. So, yeah, definitely somewhere he must have got shot. I don't know the exact location, but it was definitely somewhere on the street right here. And actually, some dudes right here. These got to be MOBs right here. So I'm telling you, this is their main territory. Yeah, this got to be MOBs. I don't know, comment below if you recognize any of these dudes. I can't really tell from the picture, but they don't look like shorties. Those definitely look like MOBs, man. So yeah, comment below. I'm just gonna go up here. And like I said, this alleyway right here is where uh where Scrap got killed. Right back here. I'm almost 100 percent positive. But uh yeah, like I said, my theory, man, is that uh they was just they was trying to catch this dude for a man probably the past two, three years, man. He's like the most, like I said, one of the most hottest targets. They just couldn't catch him, but if you get shot at shot at enough times, you try to take someone's life, man, they're going to try to come and get you, so it's, it's take out your targets before they get you, man, and that's what I think this dude did, and uh, Dooski, man, like I said, I don't know if he's a shooter, I don't know if he's got bodies, but he was definitely well-respected, man, and he, he definitely talked like gang shit like he was a shooter, so they definitely turned up for him the next day, man, but they still ain't get who they really want. But we'll see, man. I'm telling you, this summer's gonna be hot. This definitely just this war between MLB and 600 is gonna just it's gonna be just as hot as the war between O Block and uh, STL on them now. But stay tuned, man. I got a lot more coming for y'all. I've been trying to catch up. Uh, I've just been having a rough past seven months, man. I don't know. I'll talk about my personal shit, maybe some other video. I don't want to get into that now, but uh, I'm gonna try hard to uh, catch up for you guys. I just had to. Uh, honestly, man, my MacBook got stolen and shit while I was gone. Had to get a new computer, but uh, yeah, man, I'm back good to go. So these next uh, this next week or two, I'm gonna be dropping a video. Try every day, every other day for you guys. And also, man, I'm not one to ask, but I did add a. Uh, some people have been asking me to add a donation link. I I don't know, man. A dollar, two dollar. I'm not expecting shit, but if you guys did that shit, would be awesome, man. It would help me out. Definitely help me uh, invest and be able to drop more content for you guys. And if you do, man, if anyone does add a donation, leave a little uh, leave a little note on there. If you want me to shout out your Instagram, Twitter, anything, man. If you got a business, clothing company, anything, man. Dollar, two dollar, anything would help, and I still would shout y'all out, man. So right, I'll leave it in the link, and it's on my uh, homepage if you go to the About section. But uh, yeah, man, I appreciate all my subscribers no matter what. I love y'all, and uh, without without y'all, man, there ain't no Chirac news. So. Stay tuned. Until next time, it's your boy Boss Mona. I'm out.